Hey guys, welcome back to Fix It Friday. So this week we're going to be talking about the PSP Go, and this is the final iteration of the Sony PSP that was released. And um, I mean, in general, this is an awesome console to own because there's just so many possibilities with emulation and homebrew on it. Like, aside from the fact that there's tons of really good games to play. Um, so yeah, this is the last version of the console, and unlike the others, it doesn't have a UMD slot, so you can't play uh, the disc-based games. Um, and uh, it also has this proprietary M2 slot for extra storage. So this is kind of a problem because those M2 cards only go up to, I think, 32 gigabytes. And so, you know, if you want to have a lot of emulators and homebrew on your PSP Go, you really don't have a lot of options with 32 gigabytes. You have to be very selective. Uh, however, there are modifications that people have done to the Go so that you can increase your storage by using something like a micro SD card. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. So this is a kit that I picked up from a company going by the name of Fairly Legitimate Game Mods. <laughs> and basically what it is, is a little M2 PCB, well, and it's in the shape of an M2 card. And it, it's basically a little adapter board that plugs into this um, Memory Stick Pro Duo SD card adapter so that we can basically take this micro SD, put it in here, and connect it up to this little adapter board, which then in turn goes into the M2 slot, giving us 128 gigs of external storage. So that's a pretty big upgrade uh, relative to the original condition of this thing. All right, so this should be a pretty simple one, so let's get to it. All right, so we've got our PSP here, and taking these apart is surprisingly easier than you might think. So you just need a small Phillips screwdriver like this one here, and you've got four screws to take out here. And then on this side over here, we've got two smaller screws that come out. And then from there, if you can just get your fingernails underneath or a spudger, something like that, you can just get this case right off. And there we go. Okay, so the idea behind this little adapter is pretty simple. So here's a little PCB right here. So these contact pads over here make uh, connections into the M2 cartridge slot, and so you just place it in like so. And on the opposite side, there are nine pads. And so we're gonna connect up those nine pads to the Memory Card Pro adapter right over here. So we'll be doing that in a moment. Once that's all set, we're gonna take this card, we're gonna place it right about here, and then we're going to encase this in Kapton tape just to insulate it. And the same thing is gonna be true for these pads over here so that they don't make contact with the metal shielding of the M2 slot. And that's basically it. Uh, otherwise, we're gonna format that uh, 128 gig card so that's ready to use on the PSP Go. And then if we ever want to access it, what we're going to do is we're going to use this uh, slot right over here. This is the charge port, but you can also connect this to a computer via USB, and that's the easiest way to access the uh, micro SD card to add, you know, emulators or homebrew or anything else that we want to put on there. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with soldering those connections. Alright, so our adapter is finished, and I'm just going to briefly explain how it's all wired up. So, <clears throat> if you look at this PCB here, it starts with VCC, that's the first pad up here, and so that corresponds to the top pad over here. And so from there, you just kind of work your way diagonally across this circuit board, and then just move progressively down one to the next. Um, you do have to bear in mind that there 
are these little thin strips of plastic that separate the gold fingers on this adapter board. One way or another, you're probably gonna burn those off and I ended up doing that too, which is fine, it doesn't really matter. The important thing is that you don't have a bridge between these gold fingers. So you should test that afterwards with a multimeter using continuity mode. And in my case, it didn't have any problems. None of these were shorted together. Um, the last thing that you need to do is just add a little jumper wire from this pad over here to this pad. So both of these are VCC. And that's basically it. So, I mean, this is the bulk of the work. Uh, this is a really good project if you want to learn how to do, you know, fine soldering on very small pads with very small wires and all of that. Um, and thankfully, it's pretty easy to make uh, corrections if you bridge any of these. In fact, I actually bridged two of these together and I just used a little bit of solder braid to clean that up and it was no big deal. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically it for this part of the mod. And this is most of it actually. Um, so we do have a few other things that we need to do. So this is the back of the PSP Go shell. There's a little piece of copper tape over here. I'm just gonna get this out of the way. Don't actually need any of that. Uh, let me just cut this off real quick. Okay, there we go. So there's a couple of posts on the plastic back here, and that's just used for support for the components that are here on the motherboard. They get in the way of our memory card adapter. So we're just gonna take some flush cutters and just trim them down so that this is all relatively level. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, the, the lower you go, the better. All right, that's basically all that we've got to do here. Okay, so we're back and I've fully re reassembled the console. So now let's take a look and see if the system detects the memory card and then let's go ahead and format it. So to do that, we go into system settings and yeah, it's showing the memory stick. That's great. So let's go ahead and format that thing. All right, awesome, there we go. Um, so it looks like this worked and, oops, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> um, Looks like this worked, and now we have a 128 gig card in here, which opens things up quite a bit for adding homebrew and emulators and all sorts of other interesting stuff onto the PSP Go. Um, there's only one other thing that I wanted to let you guys know about, which is that when I installed all of this, I found that I needed to really make this M2 card adapter a little bit thicker so that it definitely made contact with this, the cartridge slot. So to do that, I added a second layer of Kapton tape just to make it a little bit thicker, and that did the trick. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. I highly recommend this modification. It just lets you do even more with this console. It's pretty easy to do. It's a good one if you want to learn how to do these kinds of things. Um, and uh, yeah, I should be back fairly soon with another video. I'm not sure if it's going to be next week. I just have a lot of stuff going on, including the upcoming Festival of Games, which is going to be at the Cradle of Aviation Museum in Garden City. It's going to be next week. Uh, if you guys are local, come on by. I'll have some modded consoles, and it'd be just nice to meet some people. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.